This is a little video to help people out that's getting ready to get into competition barbecue. To show you that you do not have to buy the best of the very best of equipment to get by. Most everything here that I'm about to show you has either cost me just a dollar at the Dollar Tree or a dollar at Walmart or at Dollar General anything like this. So I try to keep everything here that's on this workbench to where it's something that only costs me a dollar. Starting off with these little pans. Now these little mini loaf pans, <clears throat> mind you, you get them three, stack of this many, for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Now that doesn't seem like a whole lot of much in the big scheme of things, but when you're heating your sauces up, your barbecue sauce or your glaze or anything, I'd rather have a one-time use item and be able to throw it away than have to scrub it out and fool with that, especially when you're packing up and you're just tired after competing. Also, another thing that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree not necessarily this one, but they do have paper towel holders. I happen to have this one spare sitting in the house, and I kind of kidnapped it to put in with my competition stuff. Now you can take bungee cords, which we're going to get the bungee cords here in a minute, but you can also take bungee cords and stretch them across the interior of your tent or your pop-up to get the same desired effect as a paper towel holder. Lighters, only a dollar. Pick this one up at Dollar General. Brushes, if you so use them, a dollar each at Walmart. Strainer or a sieve, these little things can come in oh so handy. If you powder up your rub, to use it as a finishing rub over top of your chicken or ribs or whatever. Once it gets into a fine powder, you'll find that it's hard to kind of get it to, to dispense it, we'll say, over top of your uh, product. If you pour it in here and then you just lightly tap like this, you'll be able to get an even in distribution over top of your products with it. This whole basket I was able to pick up for organizational purposes at the Dollar Tree. Ponchos, big time helpful, especially when it's foul weather. Injectors, I was able to pick this injector up at the Dollar Tree. Now I wasn't a big fan of the needle that come with it, but I also buy needles from a barbecue website. They cost a little more than a dollar, but hey, you know what? For one time use and being able to throw them away, quick and easy, it's worth it. More than worth it to me. Ruler for measuring your brisket slices, the size of your box, the items that you're putting in to make sure they're all, they will all fit. No sense in going out and buying an expensive ruler that has a possibility of getting messed up when you can buy a dollar cheap one. And if it gets broke or if it gets dirty and you don't feel like cleaning it, throw it away. Cloth towels, kitchen towels. Don't have to worry about doing laundry. They start getting too dirty or too torn up, toss them. You don't have that much invested in them. These little items, they have a ton a plethora, if you will, of plastic Rubbermaid type products. The, this one is one that I use to put rubs in if you want to be all secretive. Everybody just about uses the same kind of seasonings anymore. But if you want to play Secret Squirrel, you can mix your rub, throw it in there. They also have larger ones for your injections, your marinades. Your mops. Why spend more than a dollar on something that if you don't feel like cleaning it up, get rid of it. It's not a big deal. 
moving on over. Muffin tins. Yes, muffin, not cupcake, muffin. You want the wider ones if you're doing the cupcake chicken or molds for that matter. They have all kinds of real actual baking pans to use and they're only a dollar. So if they get messed up or bent or broken, what, what difference does it make? Hand sanitizer, pre-coronavirus. I've had this one for a little bit. But a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Also at the Dollar Tree. Antibacterial soap, pre-coronavirus. Also at the Dollar Tree. Clorox bleach, or at least a type of bleach for sanitization purposes. Because you have to have a three bay sink type setup. Also with that, they also sell dishwashing items, those plastic tubs that you can use, at, buy three of them for $3 and you're able to have a three bay sink set up. And you're not really going to use a whole lot of this. This would last you a long time, very long time in competition. Dishwashing liquid. This little deal, $1. And if you only use a few drops at a time, it will last a very, very long time. Everybody's perused and cruised through the grilling area of Walmart. These little bottles are 99 cents. Buy 10 of them, put your sauces in them. Once you get them heated up and you can put them over your ribs or use them, it's just a really easy way to dispense your sauces. And if you don't feel like cleaning it up, get rid of it. You can chuck it. Now something that also pops up in competitions is lighting. Now I have no problem with going out, excuse me, with going out and buying batteries. Batteries aren't that big of a deal for me. I'm always using batteries. So it's just already a regular cost thing for me. But if you get these little lights, they do sell them for a dollar. This one I actually bought, <clears throat> excuse me, I actually bought at Roll King here in my local area, a store. And believe you me, it is bright. Another beautiful thing about this is the fact that the base of it is magnetic would help if you could see it. The base of it is magnetic, so I can connect it right up to the top of my pegboard for my workbench, and I'll be able to see down here when I'm working on things. Also, you can hang it from your tent or on the metal of your pop-up canopy to be able to see light and you could be almost electricity free if you need to be that is unless you need a pellet cooker or barbecue guru or even a heater heaven forbid you need a heater and the power goes out we've had that issue last year at one of the competitions again with cleaning products 3m scrubby pads with a sponge on them I go through these like crazy and they work so well for cleaning. Again, when they get dirty, get rid of them. Everything in this in this is basically a dollar. I got a couple packs of bungee cords. They were a dollar each. This little toolbox to keep the bungee cords in was a dollar. Now you could use this to hold injector needles or even little te uh, your hand towels or just about anything that you would need your probes your pro uh, your temperature gauges your thermo thermo pens all that can go in here and be protected also the label they sell those labels for a dollar and you get like a dozen of them for one dollar. 
more kitchen items. This was $1 and you get three different graduations of funnels. How many people have ever tried pouring something from a larger open container to a smaller mouth open container? Invaluable when you're not trying to waste or make a mess. One dollar. This measuring cup, they have a ton of kitchen items at the Dollar Tree. Are they the greatest quality in the world? No, but then again, do you really honestly need them to be if there's a chance that you could mess it up and just get rid of it? Four cups, that's more than enough to handle any kind of measurement that you're gonna need for barbecue competitions. These are just some of the ideas. Now other ideas, other things that you can buy at these discount stores are tablecloth covers. You can get the little plastic party tablecloth cover, covers and it's a quick way to handle sanitation. You just drape it right over your workstation plastic tablecloth. When you get done, wad it up and get rid of it. No big deal. Now, I'm not rich by any means. I have no sponsors whatsoever, but yet <clears throat> I'm out. I'm going out trying to do these competitions as well. To do that, I'm going to do my best to come up with videos of shortcuts and cheaper ways to handle doing competition barbecue. This uh, tool, one of these things that's not a dollar that I just decided to throw in real quick, might as well since it's been in the video this whole time, is this rolling toolbox. This rolling toolbox I was able to pick up on sale at Home Depot. And it's just tall enough to be able for you to have a workstation to work on without having to bend over to a fold up table. It rolls around real easy. It will hold all of your sauces, your rubs, and everything. And you're able to move around Move this around, throw it up on your trailer next to your smoker, or run it up into your bed of your truck, and you're able to have a rolling workstation that you really honestly don't have to worry about packing up a whole heck of a lot when you're going from competition to home or from home to the competition. And just about a majority of my stuff I've gotten either on sale or discount. This particular item I bought for $200. It was on sale for $200. And since I'm a veteran, and if any of you are veterans, A, thank you for your service. B, make sure you use a veteran's, your veteran's discount when you go to these stores, like Home Depot or Lowe's. I was able to get 10% off of this, which knocked it down to $190. Out the door, just about. And you got a drawer, you have the cabinets down in the bottom. All my pans for competition, all my racks, all my rubs, all my sauces can go in there. As long as they're not open and they don't need to be refrigerated, I throw them in this, roll it up on the trailer next to my smoker, tie it down and off we go. If you like this video, if you want to see more, let me know. Do what everybody else does. There we go. Down in the comments and I will do my best to start coming up with more videos to cut corners. How to go into competition barbecue more easily than what you would expect. 
I don't have a trailer. I have a flatbed to haul my smoker because my smoker's good size. You don't need a big smoker. I went from having two Oklahoma Joe smokers to this, <clears throat> mostly because my back is in bad shape. I have four screws in it. I had a broken back for the first eight years I was in the United States Navy. Then I survived another seven and a half before they told me, you have to get out. We can't, you, you can't go anymore. Your heart's there, but your body can't do it. And moving two smokers around was a pain, especially when they had those metal wagon wheels. Well, I went and sold both of those after I put a bunch of modifications on them. Took the money out of that, put it towards buying this. This is a 48 inch reverse flow offset. We'll get into that in another video. But if there's anything in particular you'd like to see, just let me know.